As research advances, laboratories shoulder the constant challenge and responsibility of protecting workers who use and measure toxic agents. In order to minimize exposure, workers handling and weighing toxic or pharmaceutically potent compounds must rely on industrial hygienists and environmental health and safety officers to provide guidance on safety. A balance enclosure is needed when the nature of the hazard is unknown. When the particulate is known to be a sensitizer, toxic at low levels of exposure, or can cause developmental or reproductive harm. Where the powder creates a lot of dust, laboratory air is drawn to the back of the enclosure through the sash opening and then is pulled to the back of the unit. The air is then pulled through a HEPA filter collecting all the harmful particulates before exiting the enclosure. It is important to understand the operation of these units in order for them to protect you. Many of the risks of exposure are unseen. While gowning and gloving seem obvious, the inhalation danger may go unrecognized. Weighing and other applications that require transfer of occupationally potent or toxic powders can cause exposure just by the sheer motion of opening the container. Powders are inherently affected by static charge which can build on any insulating surface including weigh boats, spatulas, balances, and even on the source container. This charge can cause the powders to jump, which can cause not only errors in weighing, but present a significant cross-contamination risk. Once installation and certification has been completed, the enclosure is ready for use. Use proper techniques. Even the best enclosure can't guarantee your safety if used incorrectly. Do not block airflow. This will cause the air to speed up through the available openings causing turbulence and possible loss of containment. Work at least six inches inside the enclosure. Don't lean too far inside the enclosure. Keep the sash down. Opening the sash can cause loss of containment. Before removing your hands or objects from the enclosure, remain still for 10 to 20 seconds to allow the enclosure to purge any contaminants. Wipe down potentially contaminated items prior to removing them and remove contaminated gloves using aseptic technique within the enclosure. Balance enclosures that use filters and don't require external ducting offer several benefits. Low energy consumption since tempered laboratory air is not ducted out of the building. Portability. Since these units do not require ducting, they can be relocated. Balance stability. Compared to a fume hood that runs at 100 feet per minute, a balance enclosure can run at a lower face velocity, from 60 to 80 feet per minute. This ensures lower turbulence inside the enclosure, providing a work environment better suited for analytical balances. Quiet work environment. Balance enclosures can be operated at noise levels as low as 48 decibels. Demonstrated containment as measured by SafeBridge consultants. Consider the space where the enclosure will be installed. To ensure proper airflow and containment, an enclosure should be located away from fans, HVAC registers, laboratory hoods, high traffic areas, doors, and other sources of airflow currents that could interfere with the unit's airflow patterns. While many balance enclosures can recirculate air back into the laboratory or clean room, others may not. A canopy connection allows for an enclosure to be thimble connected to the outside for additional protection and if small quantity solvent use is needed. Under normal operation, balance enclosures require little routine maintenance. After each use, all surfaces should be wiped down with a disinfectant or cleaner. Weekly, the exterior of the unit should be wiped down to remove dust. Twice per year, the face velocity should be tested and the HEPA filter should be tested for pinhole leaks by a certified technician. Annually, lamps should be checked and replaced if needed. Remember to correctly use your balance enclosure to keep yourself safe.